pay for our young people in this country. Um, all the sick and suffering out there would be addicted, depressed, homeless. Let's pray for them. Thank God. I'm living testimony. I got three and a half years of life. God saved my life. Pray for me and the family. Pray for all those souls that have found what we found. He always grins when I tell you to talk. Pray for me. Pray for me. Uh, yeah, just pray for me and my family, and uh, I want a special prayer for uh, Sonny and Diane Cooley. They get her medication right and, and get her settled down. She's got Parkinson, and we have to keep changing the medication every three or four months. It's a lot to go through. Anybody remember me in prayer? My, my family that are lost yeah, also. And uh, remember Tony before, what she said about Jessica. She don't get mad, she just gets even. <laughs> I got her. I pray for my family to chose ministry and the church. I pray for my grandpa Rick. I want to pray for my stepdad. Um, he came home from the hospital yesterday with a big mass on his lung. And we're trying to figure out what they're going to do from now on. But I've been praying and I just want everybody else to pray. I want to pray for the church tonight. I want to pray for the service. That God will have His will and His way. And I want to pray for everybody in here. That no one leaves here the same way they come in. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, today is your day. Hey, get you some. I promise you'll never go wrong. Y'all pray for me and my family. That's a praise report to see Brad and Mike in this church. This morning. Y'all pray for the Mission Rabbits Church. I was sitting looking today and people come from Georgia and Virginia to come together to build the kingdom of the Lord and see lives set saved. I'm glad I was blessed to be a part of what they've done with that thing. They sure touched my heart. I, I was telling some people today that got down from Georgia what labels in the field have done for me and what burning has done for me. It's not, and he looked at me and he said, Now one of them has done nothing for you. Jesus Christ intervened with your life and he changed it. He said, You've got to give all the praise to me. And um, I have been told of my day to do today. I just want to pray for myself, my mama, and my best friend, Brandon. I got a prayer request. I've been going through a lot. But that Sean's still my joy, and I just need you know to help me pray with him. He won't do that. Uh, praise the Lord. I had a visit from my brother and sister in law today. We haven't seen him in quite a while. So it was different. And I just want to remind you guys, brother and sister here, we serve a living Lord. He's not dead. Don't listen to what the world says. Speak your nose in that Bible and see what God's got to do. Follow him. Follow the world. Yeah. I want to pay for uh, Kathy Topkin, her daughter um, Kaylee, um, had her eye surgery yesterday. I want to pray for her, and I want to pray for a friend of mine who's in the hospital. I'd like to pray for y'all to help me to help my daughter Donna. She helped me. I had to go to the hospital Thursday night, and I got a, the surgeon's gonna call me. As soon as he gets back from vacation, probably Monday or Tuesday, 
and I may have to have surgery on my hip, but I know the Lord's going with me all the way. He'll be right there in that operating room, and I got an angel that stays with me all the time. And I love the Lord, and I thank you. I like to say that God is good yesterday and today, and I thank God for saving my life. And, uh, and uh, He put me on my straight and narrow path back to life, put me on jobs and stuff. And, uh, and uh, I'm very amazed that God is great to see my brother come off the street sitting here Sunday. You know, if we continue to come to church, if God allow these people to come back into your life. And, uh, I've seen that amazing work that God can do. And I thank you for it. Vernon, I thank you for it. You told me about that. And I, I, I believe in every bit. And I'm here today. Just come to NASCAR, Knoxville, Tennessee. Wore out riding. I'm here serving the Lord. I'm going to pray for everybody here tonight. Uh, let's pray for all the guys in the program, all the guys in transition. Uh, pray for my mom, Melissa, Tony Hawkins. <laughs> For a forgiving God, and I was this place for just for the brothers who can come together. And, you know, just a whole lot of unspoken. She was not with them, and I came up and I thought I didn't want it. I think I'm in my family. Everybody can do it. I think I'm in my family. I pray for all my homeboys in this program. Um, I would love the church to pray for me. I've had the devil on my back for the past five days, and I really need your prayer. Thank you. I want to pray for me, my family, all my brothers here, Bobby, Bernie, and Brad, and Pop, and my son, Keaton. Pray for the church. It's awesome prayer. I want to give God all praise and glory for where I'm at today. I have a praise report. I have my grandmother, my little sister, my little brother, my big brother, my mama, and my little girl back in my life. All praise and glory to God. I just want to give God all praise and glory and I thank this church for everybody here. I see all my family. I just pray that the bad times come. We can understand that God made them both. Never take nothing for granted because what you're going through, even though know, it's bad, it's probably a blessing that you can bless so much later. Amen. I uh, pray for myself and if it's be God's will that my family be reunited and say that I'm thankful to have another day. The devil might have beat me down and battered me up, but you know what? He ain't going to break me. Thank you. I want to praise God. Um, he sent a little angel out there to tell me uh, I'm going to say to punk out again. And, uh, probably for the first time. Lord, I don't even remember. I was able to turn my attitude around and get my focus back instantly. So, we all pray for God, please. Uh, I just want to pray for this country. Uh, pray for this ministry. Pray for all the guys in the program. Pray for my family. Uh, pray for myself. For myself to remember that uh, I gotta die daily, man. Uh, take that cross up. It's all about the renewing of your mind on a daily basis. Amen. I want to pray for the world. Number one, the world. Number two, I want to pray for my grandmother as she has three months of stage three lung cancer. Pray for myself as I am going through battles of life. And I want to pray for uh, Levon Fields. And I think we have a couple of prayers. Um, my daddy just had knee surgery. He's not doing so well. Um, pray for him. But I want a special prayer for um, that 16-year-old boy. And because of my sins, he's out selling dope and getting high on fuel. Last time I seen him, he was so high that um, he couldn't even talk. Pray for him. 1 John 4, 4, you are of God, little, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Y'all keep praying for me and my wife and uh, 
devil was really trying to bring me down this time. I stayed good for a while and I got out. But just depression took a hold and that is of the devil also. Uh, I just want y'all to continue to pray for me. My mother, she wasn't able to come tonight. She has uh, car trouble, so y'all keep her in my prayers. I just want to thank the Labor Fields for bringing me back again. I love y'all. I just want to say I'm thankful for the staff. Tom, thank you y'all yeah. don't realize it, us here at staff it's rough but we get a lot give back to us too by being part of this thing Terry you got anything buddy Terry I'd like to I got one right here I'd like to say that it's good to be here tonight the labors of the field with Vernon and all the members and all of my family, my friends. Uh, you know, I'd like to give some encouragement. Take the Word of God. You know, when Jesus was being tempted by Satan, He told Satan, He said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. If you'll take God's word today, my friends, that brother that said the devil was on his back, you can take God's word if you'll study to show thyself approved, a workman not to be ashamed of, but rightly divided the word of truth. You'll get the devil away from you. James tells us 4 and 7 says, Submit ourselves therefore unto God and resist the devil and he'll flee from us. So the more of the Word of God that you get in your heart, that's what's going to overcome Satan. If you don't read the Word, you're losing out. But the Word is going to stand. He said, Heaven and earth shall pass away. But he said, My Word shall never pass away. So I encourage each and every weak Christian here, young Christian, get into that Bible. Study the Word. Get the Scriptures in your heart. And then when Satan comes at you, as the brother quoted a while ago, greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. I've got a girlfriend that's fixing to have surgery on the 26th of this month. She'll be in Atlanta at Emory Hospital. Uh, this is a major operation. Uh, this, this operation she's going through, it could cause her to go blind or it could affect her brains mentally. But we need God to get in, you know, we need a miracle. And I'm asking the church tonight, Brother Vernon, all all y'all, the staff, I want you to remember Jeannie. That's her name. Call her name out, Jeannie. And uh, pray that God's hands will be upon her and the doctor's hands will be there too. So I love you tonight. Y'all just pray for us, the newcomers for Christ, that we can be a lighthouse. God bless you. Scott, would you open up some prayer? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for each and every one that's here tonight. It's a circle. It's the biggest circle I've seen since I've been coming down here. That's such a blessing to me. And I just know, Lord, that you love each and every one of us with all your heart. And Lord, there's no greater love than this than a man lay down his life for his friends. We know, Lord, that you give your life for us. And I pray as I'm Speaking right now, if anybody don't know you, Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit will convict their hearts. And I pray as the music's playing and the words being brought to us tonight that the Holy Spirit won't let up until they surrender their heart to you tonight. And I'm really believing for salvations. I'm really believing for healings. I'm really believing that you're going to do a mighty work in here tonight, Lord. The Word tells us two or more gathered and asking anything shall be done. So I claim that that you claim, Lord. You just give us your word, and we thank you for that. Thank Lord, I just pray for each and every one here tonight, Lord. We love you, 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, look. Thank you, Alfred.